The position of two towns A and B are 50 degrees north, 45 degrees west, and 50 degrees north, K, w, K degrees W, or west, respectively. It takes a plane five hours to travel from A to B at an average speed of 800 knots. The same, the same plane takes one and a half hours to travel from B to another town C at uh, the same average speed. Comma, full stop. Given that C is to the north of B, calculate the need to the nearest degree, the value of K. So now we want to calculate the value of K. Very important. So let us sketch. This is the equator. This is the Greenwich Meridian, which is zero. So we want to locate A. A is 50 north, 50 north is there, 50 degrees north, and then 45 west. 45 west could be somewhere there, mm, somewhere there. So here is our point A. Our point B is the same latitude but to the west again. So it could be somewhere there. We guess it could be somewhere there we don't know where it is so let me say this one is part b it is on the same latitude but we don't know uh, the longitude where it is so what that's what we are looking for so here is k the latitude is k the, the, the longitude so not the, the longitude this longitude is k degrees west this one so but we have been given the distance we have been given the speed and the hour so how do we get the distance Distance is equal to speed times time. So distance is equal to we're going to be 800 times 5. And this one gives us 4,000 nautical miles. So we have been given distance nautical mile. Ask yourself, is this a small circle or a great circle? Is it a small circle or a great circle? It is a small circle. So we know how to get the distance of a small circle. In unit comma, the start is 60 times uh, uh, this change uh, cos theta, where theta is the latitude. So what we don't have here is the change. We don't have that change. That's what we are looking for. So this one, so this one is giving us the distance. Distance is equal to this, but this is 4,000 is equal to 60 uh, cos theta times alpha. So alpha is going to be 400, 4,000 divided by 60 times cos, uh, the alpha is 50. So alpha is going to be 103.7. So how do we get K? So K minus 45 because they are on the same side, west to west. This is west and this one is west. The angle difference is K minus 45 and this one will give us 103.7 degrees. So we like terms together. This one is going to be this side. So K is going to be 45 plus 103.7. K is equal to 148.7 degrees. But of course, west degrees west. Part B, the latitude C. So the same airplane has gone to C through to another from B to another town C on the same average speed. The most important information is that C is on the north of B. So if B is here, then C it could be there, the north. So it is somewhere there. So this one is C. Here we have C on the same. So 
you can see clearly that B and C, they are on the same longitude, uh, but the different latitude. Therefore, it is on the great circle. So their center comes here. Their center comes here, and we are going to look for this theta, that is the angle difference. I hope you have seen that. So let us now see how to, we have now the distance, because they are going on the same speed, therefore, we can get the distance. That is Roman 2. Distance is equal to speed times time. Our speed is 800 times time is 1.5. That is one and a half hours. And this one gives us 1200 nautical miles. But we know this one is, is on the great circle, right? We get, how do we get the distance in nautical miles? Distance in nautical miles on a great circle is simply 60 times theta. So we don't have theta, which is the one we are looking for. So 6 times theta is equal to 1200 nautical miles. So divided by 60, divided by 60, therefore theta equal to, uh, this is 20, equal to 20 degrees. Theta is equal to 20 degrees. So C is on x degrees north 148 degrees 0.7 degrees west that is where we have c right so we want to get this c what was c because the angle difference is this after subtraction so it means x this one minus that of b so let me write b is we had b here B is on 50, not comma, 148.7. So you see they're on the same longitude, so we don't mind that. So this X minus 50 will give us what? 20, the angle difference. Therefore, X is equal to 20 plus 50. And that X is equal to 70. So C is 17 degrees north comma 148.7 degrees west that is c so c is 70 degrees north the latitude is 70. an aircraft took off from a point p 60 south 76 west and flew due north to a point Q. The distance between P and Q is 5,400 nautical miles. Determine the position of Q. Determine the position of Q. So first let us sketch. So this point P is 65 south. So 65 south, remember this is zero degrees equator. This is another zero here. So 60 south could be somewhere there. This one is 60 degrees south and 76 west. 76 west, this is a zero. So 76 west could be somewhere there. So this one here is our point P. Right? So uh, it flew north. So it flew north on the same longitude. It flew north of this. To a point Q. So it went a point Q. We don't know where Q is. Let me just guess that it arrived at that point. We don't know, but we just sketch like that. So for you, then determine the point of Q. Let me call this point here Q. So before we finish, let me show you something. This part, this is a latitude here, which is on the north, is parallel to this one. And if they are parallel, if we draw a transversal here, like this, it means this angle here will be the same angle at the center of the earth. Very important for you to know. If I draw a, a transversal, this is a parallel lines and these are parallel. So from this point and this point, I draw a transversal. This angle here will be the same angle here. Or this angle here and this one will be the same angle here. Very important to know. So that is the knowledge we are going to use here. You see, P 
it is going to the center. This uh, latitude will subtend this um, angle at the center. Right? So the angle here, theta, or 65, the latitude is 65 south, 65 will be the same angle here, 65, at the center. So this point Q, we don't know where it is, will also subtend an angle X, this angle X here, will be the same angle, it will be subtend, subtend here, X. So meaning that our difference is 65 plus X to give us point P, Q, the angle subtended at the center is 65 plus X. Very important. Therefore, we know this one is on a great circle. How do we get uh, that one? It is simply, um, for a great circle it is simple. We know it is 60 times alpha. I know the alpha but the theta times theta because it is on a great circle. But we don't, but this is going to give us the distance which is 54.00 nutical miles. So how do we get the theta? We just divide it by 60, divide it by 60. This and this. Uh, so theta is going to be 90, right? So the angle difference theta is 90. The angle here is 90. But from here up to here, we know it's 65. What would it be x? So x plus 65, the answer is 90. Therefore, x is equal to 90 minus 65. And this one will give us 25 degrees north. So q is 25 degrees north. You can also as well do it this way. We know that x plus 65 times 60, because this is the angle difference, will it be 54. This one will give us x directly, 54. So this one we multiply, so we will have 60x plus 39, would it be 5400? 60x will it be 5400 minus that nine zero zero. So sixty x will it be fifteen hundred divided by sixty divided by sixty. So x is equal to twenty five degrees. So because it went to the north, it's going to be twenty five north. Therefore, q is equal to or q is 25 degrees north comma they are on uh, which latitude or log they are on the same longitude which is 76 76 degrees west